Okay, I've got my three quarter inch impact on a special tool that is required to remove the shifter seal. Well, the sorry, the shifter seal carrier. Just drops down into place. And I use an impact to do this so that I can push down and keep pressure on it so that it doesn't pop up and ruin the carrier. Now what you'll want to do or try to do is keep the shift shaft down in place the whole time because if the shift shaft pops out, sometimes what will happen is you'll have to take the gear case apart to realign it with the cam down in the bottom. Again, keeping pressure on it to make sure that stays down. Come a little closer. So you can see that it's got slots on either side and the tool that I use to take it off has a posing so that it drops inside and is able to spin it out for me. So I'll go ahead and get some parts and put this thing back together. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken the gear case out and I've put the uh, ship shaft carrier uh, inside the vise and I'm going to take and pop out this seal. There. It's that easy. So I just pried it out. Now the trick when we put the new one in is we're going to use the vise and a socket just to squeeze it in place. And when you put it back together the spring goes up. So we'll give a little press in with our fingers, open them up with the vise a little bit. Drop this into place. And that's done. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in now. I've put the gear case back in place. And what I'm gonna do is put a sealer now on this O-ring. You can check it for chips or, or scratch marks or, or, or what have you, damage basically, and nine times out of ten there isn't going to be any. But I'm going to go ahead and put a sealer on it anyway, just in case. I don't need for the customer to come back and tell me it's still leaking. Uh, now, actually, I'll, I'll tell you what the sealer is. Uh, it's a weather strip adhesive. Uh, I tell a lot of guys about it on the site. You can buy it at Napa, Canadian Tire. Uh, basically, any automotive store should carry the stuff. So super, super weather strip adhesive. So just the reverse of how I took it out. The special tool. The socket. The impact in forward. Safety glasses on. Done. Now, on to the water pump. All right, time to put the water pump back together. I'm gonna to take some needle bearing grease and put it in here. Uh, Vaseline, regular grease, anything is fine. Now, the reason I do this is to help it go together. And, and also, I don't know if, uh, if the customer is gonna go home and start it in his driveway because sometimes people do that with no water and this way I can save his impeller. So slide this down on top of the key. Next to housing, spinning clockwise, we push it down into place. Washers and nuts.
for the last nut. Okay, now as you snug these up a little bit, give it a turn. And then the reason I say that is we don't want to tighten it too tight and pinch the impeller. So it, you should still be able to turn it by hand once you've got it tightened down. Snug is good enough. It's not going in. Slinger seal. Do you have to replace the slinger seal? No. But if it has cracks in it or it's loose, then yes. And the last little rubber seal for this. All right, that's that. Uh, I'll change the position of the camera and put this back up into place. All right, now that little trick that I was going to tell you in putting this back on, I remember I mentioned that you, you put it in reverse. Now, when you put it into reverse, what this allows you to do, and actually I'll, I'll back up for a minute, make sure you put the shifter in reverse too, because if the shifter's not in reverse, you're starting over. So when it's in reverse, when I push it up into place now, if I push down, which is the same direction that uh, the prop spins, or, or spin it backwards, it rotates the shaft, the drive shaft, the correct way so that I don't flop the veins around. Oh, and by the way, I, I, uh, when you weren't looking, I put the water tube in place. It, it was very easy. So, line everything up. Spin back and... Should go together. Jiggle the shifter if need be. Yeah, shifter's in because I just shifted it into neutral. And there we go. Now what I'll do is I'll just put the nuts and all haul back on and we're good to go. That's how easy this is. It should take inside a 15 minutes start to finish. Thanks for watching and I'll have other videos for you later on. Thanks.